So I've just set up a new database. Um, it's a test database I've got called Hamshack Radio. It's got a few tables, um, some foreign keys, primary keys, that kind of thing. And I've got it all set up already. And what I need to do is I need to get some data into it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to run um, SQL Data Generator and get some data into this new database that I'm running. So with Data Generator loaded up, I'm going to go ahead and connect up to a particular server. And uh, I'm going to log in, remember the credentials, and I'm going to connect up to my Hamshack Radio database that I've created. So what's going to happen is, is that SQL Data Generator goes through its standard process of reading through the database, understanding what tables you have, the columns, primary keys, foreign keys, and it lays it all out. And you can then go in here and start to modify everything that you're doing. So this is just a standard mechanism of operation for SQL Data Generator. And so you can see that I've got just the four tables. Like I said, it's a small test database that I'm creating for just little test projects where I can control every aspect of it. And you can see that I've got, you know, the vendor names, the radio names, and I've got different things set up in each of these that I could go in and start to modify and control the way it's set up. I'm just going to leave the defaults completely in place right now, and I'm going to go ahead and run uh, this data generation and let it populate the data. So this is the data that we're going to generate. We will click on Generate Data, and off it runs. And so it's creating all the data inside that database. And so if we switch over here to Management Studio for a minute, and let's run a new query against our Hamshack Radio database. Just for demo purposes, we're going to say select star from, and we'll select star from radio. And the results come back, and we've got data loaded into the database. Now, what I haven't told you at this point is that this isn't just any database. This is actually a Google Cloud SQL database. If we switch over here to uh, Explorer uh, Edge, we can see that in fact, I'm running a test instance on Google Cloud, and that is what I just loaded my data to. So the information there is all available on this cloud, out in the cloud, and that's all generated from SQL Data Generator. No errors, no issues. It just ran. Uh, it's just like a normal instance and we can take control of it. So this is a great way to use some of the Redgate tools with your cloud platform as a service offerings, you can put our tools to work on them. Several of the tools work already. More tools are going to be working on it in the future. I'm going to show you several of these over time, which ones work, and get you some idea of what you can do so that you can take the same tools that you're used to using in your local instances, and as you move out to the cloud, whether it be Google, AWS, Azure, Redgate is going to come right along with you and support you on your journey. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.